Hey, what's up guys, welcome to SoFi's Technical Analysis for July 19, 2023. Now let's look at the one day RSI right now. The one day RSI is looking like it's trying to, you know, go towards a overbought territory. So uh, I, I wouldn't put too much credence on this because SoFi has been known to move up despite it being in an overbought territory. So the RSI is just something to look for, but uh, I wouldn't necessarily rely it for either trades or investments right now. Um, not for SoFi anyways. And then let's look at the MACD. The MACD, we just saw a green histogram yesterday, which means um, it's signaling that uh, SoFi is moving towards a more bullish direction. Now, it's already moving in a bullish direction when the MACD was in the red, uh, as you can see over here. So SoFi has already been diverging with the MACD. So this would you know, signal that SoFi is already strong at this price. Uh, so... In my opinion, I, I think barring any uh, unforeseen events with SoFi, uh, SoFi should continue to move up unless something with the market um, is bad, right? Uh, if, you're looking at if you look at bank earnings right now, um, the banks are actually doing pretty well, so it's likely SoFi will also do pretty well. Uh, so let's look at the one hour uh, technical analysis. So if we look at the one hour, uh, we see a trading range with the price action of SoFi right now at 9.45 to 9.75. And what this means is that, um, you know, it's trading between this range and uh, once it breaks out, it's going to be a more clear picture of um, where it's headed. And uh, in my opinion, it's going to break out towards the upside because if you look at the MACD, we are slowly decaying towards that green MACD, which is the upside. And the RSI looks a bit, you know, um, sort of tangled here, but I, 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 it seems like it's moving downwards. So it's possible we might see a small correction uh, in the, at the start of the day. And then it's possible, uh, well, it's likely, in my opinion, that we see a move up uh, at the end of the day. So let's go to the one minute and see if we can figure out anything. So uh, if we look at the one minute right now, um, it's looking like we are moving towards a downwards direction. Obviously, it's not um, exactly, you know, high volume. So the amount of data you can get from here is not a lot, but I'm going to try here. So the RSI is looking like it's curling down, right? So it's possible during the pre-market, we might see sort of a small correction but i wouldn't think uh you know it will go past a nine dollar fifty cents if there is a correction and I, I i'm not even sure about that that's just a possibility um so we are you know at a 0 0.52 percent um, increase in the pre-market and when it hits to 950 that would be about uh slightly lower than yesterday's close so you know that wouldn't be a lot of uh bearish uh, sort of uh, momentum and I, I wouldn't really worry about that so with that being said i think that's gonna sum up uh, so far's technical analysis for july 19 2023 uh I, I guess just to recap so far has just uh, broken out of this consolidation range obviously uh you know barring any unforeseen events uh so far should not head back down there uh so yeah thanks for watching guys and stay safe